what's happening folks gerald here aka j from 90 coming at you with another reaction another michael jackson reaction because hey this is michael jackson day this is the anniversary of the legendary king of pop michael jackson's birth the, the this year he would be what 64 64 this year michael jackson would be 64 if he were still alive um it is it's very important <laughs> we're going that title the king of pop um it's very important that we we keep remembering that there's only one there's only one and the way to beat that is you have to beat their accomplishments and uh no one's doing it let's no one's doing it and you know it's not a front to harry styles because i love harry styles and it's not even necessarily a diss to the other new artists that they really try hard to put that title on but it's just not gonna work i mean you gotta start at like five and then start getting hits at like 11 and then work until you know for the rest of your life to sustain having hits from the age of 11 <laughs> like what no no but anyway anyway this is about Michael. This is about Michael. Um, and this is a performance I've never seen in full. I've only seen pieces of this, but I've never seen the full performance. It is him doing a tribute to Sammy Davis Jr. with the song You Were There. Never heard the whole thing. Never saw the whole thing. Um, I've, been, I've been meaning to do this for years, but I, I've also been saving this for, like, the birthday. The birthday. And so I feel like the way we can dedicate... The way Michael dedicated this song to Sammy is the way that I feel like we should all dedicate this song to Michael because, I mean, he was there. He was there. Like, do you, can we talk about, wait, we, going back to it, Michael's legacy starts with Motown, the time of the Preems, the Temptations, Gladys Knight, Aretha Franklin, James Brown. He, he, the, you cannot compare that. You cannot compare his stardom, what he what he's accomplished to get the title of King of Pop. Again, the career span. You can't compare it to anyone ever. The success, the numbers, the money. You can't compare it to this video. You were there. I'm excited to see it. Let's get ready to check it out. Before we do, I need you guys to go ahead and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications. Next go for this channel is 10,000 subscribers. We're going to get there, but I'm going to need your help to do it. And so now, without further ado, this is Michael Jackson with You Were There. the hurt you took the shame they built the walls to block your way you beat them down you won the day them all you made them care yes you were there and thanks to you there's now a door we all walk through and we are here for all to see
that that was beautiful and that was so touching. And you know what really, really got my heart is Sammy Davis Jr.'s eyes looking at Michael. Like it's so true. Cause and like I said, you know, at the beginning I, 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 we we gotta, you know, know the song applies for Michael, um, and all that too. And it's it's true, but that's such an important sentiment it's such an important song for sammy davis jr because there is the level above michael and it is that level of sammy davis jr of james brown and like those pioneers and especially the black pioneers who before them they were the first people of color to do this they were the first people of color to go here and to be able to perform there and what they had to endure for there to be what there is in the music industry today, even though it's still, you know, things can always still be better in every way. But, and you know what, but I still stand by, like I said, that it is also applicable to Michael because Michael and his brothers, Jackson five, and then Michael also as a solo artist, they were also, in that transition they were also around during the civil rights and during you know black pride and all that stuff too they really is something i i that you guys gotta know this is on a real level i take these legends very seriously i take these legends very seriously and no lie i'm a flat out say it my channel just like what i listen to regularly is going to be more so about them and learning about them than it is about the new kids, <laughs> the new crop. Because, you know, my, my thing is, it is not to take, not to disrespect the new people, but I feel like when you really learn from these legends, when you really catch what they threw and what they had to go through, like the song pretty much was saying and all that, the the stuff today is pretty frivolous in comparison, for the most part. And like, I, I don't want to overall blanket, but if we are going to overall blanket, then yeah, I, I really stand by, like, you know, like I was telling one of my cousins, like, there's just not that much music this year I'm invested in because artists I care about they're, they're, you know, it's not that they're not doing it, it's that, you know, I'm still looking, I'm still studying their best. I'm still studying their best. And just from what I've seen, not too many artists today, for the most part, for the most part, not most artists today aren't touching those kind of levels of greatness. The, the ones who are for sure, like Bruno Mars, Anderson Pack, Silk Sonic, Janelle Monet, Janelle Monet too. Um, I feel like are really worth my time and there's others but it's not fair it's not a big list for me but i i say that squinty eyed and like a little but it at the same time i'm also not ashamed of it i'm i feel like we so move so fast in these generations and i feel like a lot of the issues with quality in the music today and all that is that we're not these kids and these newer artists aren't paying attention to the legends who broke down barriers. They're not. They're actually fully coming in. I what I've grown into and I'm a reactor, but I've you know, watched other reactors too and shout out to them and shout out I you know, a lot of people were doing this before me and I'm I'm I feel like I'm still the new kid in school on this on the scene. But what I've become aware to what I've become aware of is that there's a lot of people in their teens and early 20s who have no clue about these legends and it's you know that's not their fault necessarily but i just i could i you know i feel like my life is richer because i'm familiar with these people and i have a deep familiar and reverence for them and i'm more focused on them than these new artists coming out. And a lot of the new artists, they are also more fans of the artists back then or they're tailored to try to look like and create 
what the artists back then did, and it's it's an interesting time. It's an interesting time. So anyway, all that, all that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this reaction and that performance. Um, if you did, please go ahead and like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Um, follow me on social media. That's in the description below. If you'd like to donate, tip, uh, sponsor, request, that's also in, in the description below. Lots more Michael Jackson to come today, but also regularly lots more Jackson family. I'm a Jacksonaholic. I'm a Jacksonaholic. So, you know, lots of Jackson family to come. And um, you can also join my Patreon on Patreon, and you're going to get cool things like uh, Patreon-only videos, which is usually the stuff that YouTube blocks. And then you're going to get uh, Patreon early releases, early access to videos. You know, videos before they're up on YouTube. So check that out. And um, I just, again, thanks to every single one of you who rock with me. <laughs> and um, I really appreciate every single one of you who press play on this video. And beyond everything else, please take care of yourself and each other. Saying that I want it.